Hello there, Cancers. Welcome to your weekly reading. So, everything here indicates to me that you have a um, somebody trying to come back. Like, unfinished business, I feel, with another person. It's like the, the door is opening and um, there's definitely somebody from the past coming into the picture. I feel for many of you, this is a romantic partner. And uh, I'm, I'm feeling like it could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And then I'm also sensing as well an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. And um, I feel like the energy around this person is, yes, there is a lot of attraction. There's a lot of uh, chemistry between you and the person. And I almost feel like they're inching towards you because they're not really sure how you feel about them. I feel like some of you are newly single, you have started dating, and I feel like you're um, entertaining, you know, different suitors. But then there's also this person in the back of your mind from the past that is also um, inching their way back into your life. And I definitely feel this is somebody that you have been really, really confused about. You're not really sure where you stand with them. You're not really sure how they felt about you. You're not really sure, you know, how to proceed forward. And so it, it, it seems to me like there has been a lot of history with this person and possibly conflict as well. For those dealing with the fire sign, I feel like the attraction is really strong. And you kind of find yourself, you know, off kilter when you're dealing with them. And for those who are dealing with an air sign, I definitely feel like unfinished business resolve, uh, revolving, con uh, revolving around conflict, possibly even like um, joint finances. So if you have lived together, if you've been married, if you've been engaged, if you have children together, there's some issues here regarding boundaries and regarding parenting styles, regarding the divvying up of assets, if you have joint assets with one another. Um, so for those who are, you know, uh, dating, who are trying to move on with your life and things like that, um, I feel like you should try to move forward, okay? The portal is open for exes, but I don't feel like the opportunities are presenting themselves in a way where you will get anything stable or anything solid this time around. So just be a little bit careful about that. Um, I feel like you kind of need to, you know, uh, put your foot down and say no. No to people um, asking you to do things that are outside of your scope of responsibility. No to people that are trying to go back, get back into your life when you don't want them to be there. I feel like you kind of need to be firm and you kind of need to draw your, your you know, demarcation in the sand. Okay, so you have to kind of like draw the lines between what you're willing to entertain and what you're not going to entertain. This is you showing up here as the King of Cups. Um, very caring, very loving. And um, I feel like when it's in the reverse, it's almost like somebody is tugging at your heartstrings, trying to get you to do things that they want. And it might not be something that you want, but I feel like, you know, you, you have trouble saying no to them. And you have trouble, um, you have trouble, I feel, backing away from a situation that might not be entirely good for you. So just don't let yourself uh, be pressured into doing anything you don't want to do. Don't let yourself be fed like a sob story by somebody else. And especially don't let yourself be um, manipulated into doing something that you don't want to do or doing something when the other person is more than capable of doing it themselves, okay? I feel like somebody is also coming to you for assistance. And for some of you, this could be a child. Coworker is what I'm sensing. So I, I feel like um, you're trying to detach. You're trying to teach the other person to be self-sufficient. You're trying as well to um, hold your ground. You're trying to be firm and you're trying to hold your ground. I feel like somebody is telling you, you know, I want this, I want that. And it's, it's almost like it's very frivolous. The energy is very frivolous. And you're just like, well, you can't have it all. You can have one. So you're being really firm about that. And then I also feel like coworkers coming to you asking as well, 
can you help me with this? Can you do this for me? I'm on a time crunch and I don't want to get in trouble. Can you do it for me? So I see like responsibilities kind of、um, push to your side, and it's outside of the scope of your responsibilities. These are not responsibilities that are meant for you. So learning to find, you know, just learning to say no and draw boundaries, it's going to be really good for you in the long run, because if it's not done now, you're going to have the same issue further down the line, okay? And I feel like this is somebody that repeatedly, you know, they push your boundaries, they push your limits, and they push, they 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 like to,、um, they just don't want to take no for an answer. So they they do have. Issues with rejection, and they keep pushing your buttons. So I feel like you know, now do it now. Otherwise, the same problem will resurface in the future.、Um, I see as well travel itinerary. So travel delays, travel itinerary. I see you、um, on the phone with like I. I feel like travel agencies.、Um, I see as well、uh, visas. If you are applying for a visa, or if somebody, if you're sponsoring somebody, or if you have like,、um, if if you have like open applications, or somebody's traveling to see you, I do see、um, travel delays. Okay, it's going to be a little bit frustrating, and you're going to feel like, oh no, this car rental place, this、um, travel agency, they're trying to take my money. That's what it feels like to me. So I see you on the phone,、uh, getting a little bit more upset,、um, you know, because they're giving you the runaround. They're they're kind of passing you along to different representatives, and yet your an your questions are not answered. And so what they're saying here is to be very very firm when you're dealing with these people that are passing the buck. They're basically kicking the can down the road. They don't want to give you a straightforward answer, so they pass you along to a different representative. And so, push to really speak to you know a supervisor. Push to speak to somebody who's in charge, because then they can't be evasive once you take that route. So I definitely feel like there's a need here to be really firm, to push for what you want, and to you know、um, not be a doormat to other people's、um, agenda. Okay, so that's going to be really really important for this week. It's a little bit of a trying week,、um, just mainly because I feel like there's a time crunch on your end. There's also lots of distraction, is what I'm feeling. There are also lots of people coming to you one after another, and so I feel like you know, it, it's like the, the the perfect storm. Everything is culminating, and so there are while these things are minor irritations, they do add up, and it's always the minor things that get us more than the big things. The big things we usually Can anticipate, and we usually accept them at face value. But it's the little things, the little annoyances, the little inconveniences that kind of creep up on us and catch us unawares, and then it just、um, gets our blood boiling. So I feel like it's a little bit of an exasperating, you know, seven days that you're dealing with.、Um, what I'm seeing as well. Is、uh, somebody is recovering from health issues? Okay, so if you're dealing with somebody around you, they're definitely feeling a lot better energetically. They they just want to do everything. So if they've been kind of down and out, or if they've been sick, or if they've been you know under the weather,、uh, they might have not responded to you. They might have been very dormant. They might have been very、um, secluded, and now they're coming out of their、um, their illness. And I feel like they want to eat everything. They they have an appetite. They want to do everything. Now they have free time as well, so they want to see everything. And they they will、um, be communicating heavily with you. Can we do this? Can we do that? Can we go here? Can we go there? For some of you, I feel like children, and then for others,、um, co-workers as well, and also a significant love relationship, like a, a partner that you're with, who is doing this. Okay. Um, I'm also seeing as well、um, when it comes to travel, you want to check your itinerary. You want to make sure everything is,、um, you know, where it's supposed to be. That you have, you know, your car. If you are renting a car, that you have everything lined up. If you're renting from a hotel or like an Airbnb, if you're renting a place for accommodations, make sure everything is clearly spelled out, and you know, get to the place early so that you can confirm. Okay, because I, I do see like little annoyances creeping in. 
um, I see you as well making lots of phone calls, um, trying to sort out a situation, trying to iron out something. And I feel like there are financial transactions that are going to be a little bit sketch. Like um, it, it seems like the terms weren't clearly looked at or weren't clearly spelled out. And you were hoping for one thing, but they're telling you, you know, well, look at the fine print. It, we spelled it out, and this is not the way that we interpret the rules. So there's definitely um, issues when it comes to, you know, your interpretation of the rules and their interpretation of the rules. But I feel like it's a it's a financial transaction. You're dealing with a representative, and they're gonna pull your leg a little bit. So stand. Firm and be very adamant about, you know, speaking to, escalating things to a uh, up the chain of command, so that you can get your answers, so that you can get all your questions uh, answers, so that you can get the outcome that you're looking for as well. So that is all I have for you here, Cancers. I hope that you still have a prosperous week either way, and I hope the reading resonates. Okay, take care of yourself and take it easy. I'll talk to you guys next week.